The West Virginia University Sports Hall of Fame started in 1991. This is our 23rd class. We have 148 inductees, and this really is, ladies and gentlemen, the best of the best that our athletic programs have produced over the many, many years. Some incredible people. In 1982, I was sitting in my office in the Coliseum when I received a phone call from a gentleman that I did not know. He asked me if this was Gary McPherson speaking, and I said it was. He said, I want to tell you about a young man that's a great basketball player in Hartford, Ohio. He went on to tell me what a, 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 an outstanding player that this young man was. <clears throat> Pardon me, and I asked him what the player's name was. He said his name is Dale Blaney. He said, I know he can play for the Mountaineers. He's, he's a great player. And I said, now, wait a minute, what position does he play? And he said, he's a guard, probably in college. I said, sir, I don't want to be impolite, but we're not recruiting guards this year. We have four guards. Coach Catlin has informed us not to recruit any guards, and so we're not going to recruit guards. He said, but, Coach, this, this, this young man can really play. He said, he's a great, he's an outstanding uh, young man, and I know he can play for the Mountaineers. There's not too many schools after him, but – you need, you need to, to see him play. And I said, sir, we're not recruiting any guards. So this goes on for about 15 minutes, and I didn't want to be impolite. He said, will you give me your word you'll come to see him work out or some, come to see him play? And I said, no, I will not, because we're not recruiting guards. He would not get off the phone. So finally I said, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll come up and see him play sometime this year. He said, you, you won't be disappointed in Dale Blaney. It is um, truly an honor for me to be here to introduce Dean Morrison. Unfortunately, Dean was not able to be here, uh, but fortunately, it is a time of celebration in the Morrison family that he and his wife are expecting their third child any moment. Could be right now, so he needed to stay home. He sent this last night. It is such an honor to be among such company as those receiving in this group. It is nice to be remembered. Thank you. I'd like to say a special hello and, and congratulations to Dr. Etzel. I was so pleased to hear that once again you are being recognized. I still apply many of the lessons discovered together during team sessions. Thank you for being an excellent example of effortless giving. Coach Turnbull, it is most appropriate for you to be receiving this honor on my behalf. You still know me so well during times of success and failures, you always did such an amazing job at meeting me wherever I ended up. And you still are doing that today. I hope only the best for you and your family. Thank you. I am unable to attend this wonderful event as I am with my wife and two boys awaiting our third child, expected to arrive today or tomorrow. We live in New York City. I am creating programs for at-risk youths to help them prepare for college in the issues of life. Learning for me still continues. The challenges our family have come to witness has called on us our deepest faith and has made it imperatively clear that we are to focus on what's important. The scripture verse that best describes what we aim to teach our young participants is, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Thank you, West Virginia University, for remembering me even as time has moved on. Please know that I am still working intensely hard at applying all the valuable lessons I've learned on that campus. My growing family looks forward to visiting that most beautiful state again. Thank you so much, Dean Morrison. Success is something you don't do or accomplish alone. Over the next years of my career, I was very fortunate to have amazing athletes, many of who are here today, assistant coaches, athletic trainers and support staff, and especially athletic administrators who were supporting my program. The success of gymnastics was a group effort. Throughout my career, I was the one who wanted improvements immediately. I wanted everything right now and I thought, you know, we've worked hard, we deserve this. And I wasn't very 
patient, as most of you know. But I was very lucky to have two amazing mentors who tried to keep me in line and help me pick my battles, teach me how to choose what to fight for. And that is Kitty Blakemore, who is not here today, and Martha Thornton. Thank you. Martha's here. During my career, I worked for five athletic directors, Leland Bird, Dick Martin, Fred Schaus, Ed Passalong for 21 years, and Oliver Luck. And I would like to thank each of them for their support through the years. And I, although I didn't get to see her play, I was told that it was the same passion she brought every time she played on the court. I was also told that's the same passion she brought when she played here in 1982 to 1985. And today I'm here with my sisters and my grandma and my stepdad who are in the audience to accept the award for her. her. So it's with the greatest honor that I'm up here. And I know that if she was alive, she would thank everyone and feel really honored that you inducted her into the Hall of Fame. And Miss Eleanor Lamb, who's still with us, 90, right? Retired last year. I probably still owe her money. I don't know. It's, uh, there are too many forms for me in life, and I owe her nickels and dimes. And she's saying, where's that receipt? I don't know where it is. You remember all that stuff, right, Linda and Craig, right? OK. I do want to thank uh, USA Shooting. They're very supportive of me over time, and the Olympic Committee, and Dave is one of the big kahunas there right now. Paul was an exceptional athlete, and, and it, you know, we'll never know how good of an athlete he might have been at West Virginia University, because he was an excellent basketball player and played a lot his sophomore year. His freshman year, where you're not eligible to play, so therefore he played no baseball or basketball. But nonetheless, we had him for one year, and he excelled, and clearly the rest is history, but the 11 years he played in professional baseball was outstanding. I think Paul would certainly want to thank the selection committee, and so we do that. Uh, he would certainly be, applaud the other inductees, as we have done, as every inductee has stood up here. I think he would want to remember the coaches that coached him, his high school coach, Tim Shields, at Flemington High School. Paul, like two other of the Hall of Fame members, Ronnie Rutten and Bucky Bollier, Paul came from Flem little old Flemington High School, where he excelled in, in, in baseball and basketball. They didn't have football, nor did they have football at Aurora High School, where Bucky attended. Ronnie did play football at, at Fairview, but. Nonetheless, they came from three small schools and made an impact here at West Virginia University, and I think that's something that we can all be proud of. I know he would want to thank uh, Coach Fred Schaus and George King for having re recruited him to come here. And I guess his baseball coach and my baseball coach, Steve Herrick, had something to do with it. However, in those days, we didn't have baseball scholarships. and. Uh, we had a few base basketball players who were on scholarship that played baseball, and Paul being one of them. So I am privileged that I was asked to introduce Paul. I've not seen Paul for 50 some years, and I, I hope that I have thanked the people that he would have wanted to thank, and I, am, I know that he's deeply humbled by this, and, and I say thanks to you, for, and we thank Paul for the contribution he made to West Virginia University. Thank you.